Hey everybody, I'm Andy the Kenworth Guy with Inland Kenworth here in Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada. Thanks for coming by the channel today. Really appreciate that you're here, taking the time to watch this video. We have a really sweet T680 to show you. This was custom ordered. And uh, hey, before we go outside and take a look at the truck, and I promise this is the last time, the last video uh, that I'm gonna talk about my stupid finger, but uh, here it is. Ooh, looks pretty nasty, hey? So as you can see, it is a bit shorter. Here, let's uh, let's zoom in on that there. So there it is, it's a little bit of a, a stub. There's no nail anymore, so feels fine. I can, uh, I can hit it, I can use it. It's healing up here, so it's no more scab. It's all, uh, it's pretty much all skin now, so. Thanks for all your thoughts and comments, uh, appreciate that. So anyway, enough about this finger, you won't hear about it again. Maybe you will, I don't know. But uh, let's uh, see a little bit about this truck and we'll get into the tour. Alright, so here we are at the truck. It's a beautiful day here in Winnipeg at Inland Kenworth here. And I have this brand new 2021, you heard me, 2021 uh, T680. And I got a new lens for my camera so it's not going to be all scratchy and fuzzy for you guys anymore. So, <laughs> alright, so let's, uh, let's get into the details on this truck. So this is a 244 inch wheelbase T680 with a 76 inch higher bunk sleeper, uh, the condo, the tall sleeper. Now something that's really neat about this truck, we don't do this very often, especially on our stock trucks. So bringing in a custom unit like this, we have the full chassis fairings. So with the ch full chassis fairings, you have this optional uh, spot here to have steps. We have the steps on the other side. This side is, uh, is full painted chassis fairing, so it looks really sharp. And uh, we got the windows in the bunks on both sides. This is pretty, uh, pretty loaded up. Uh, looking at the wheels here, we have the seven spoke wheels on Durbright rims. So that's all the way around. So those are Durbright uh, rims. And then we got the chrome two piece bumper up front here. Comes standard with the chrome bezel, the chrome shroud around the grill. And then the aluminum metal mesh is also standard. Uh, that's just how we build them. Build them tough, right from the get go. We have the chrome mirrors on both sides with, uh, I believe we put the heat on them. <coughs> and then uh, there's your headlight assembly right in there. Really beautiful look, really nice design. Now the sun is shining, so I'm really happy to show you guys this. The paint on this thing is just a really nice sparkle to it. Just check this out. Really nice metal flake in there. Looks really awesome. Uh, Rob at Big Truck Detail, check him out on Instagram if you haven't, uh, you give him a follow. But uh, Rob did a sweet job of cleaning this truck up here today, turned it around in like an hour and a half. Nicely done Rob, thank you very much. Uh, there's the steps on this side like I was telling you about. And then we got your def tank right here. And we put the fuel fill behind the cab so they're up right here. We got a 135 on this side and then a 150 on the other side. Now looking at the back of the cab here, you can see we put the load locks on there. So that's for your load binders. Uh, you can just lock those in. You can put them on one side or the other or both. We have the, uh, the wrapped airline. So that's uh, right from the factory. It's an option to do that too if you want. And then we got the single stack behind the cab with the seven inch tailpipe, which looks really awesome. Now we put a really long fifth wheel slide, a 48 inch slide on this one here, and it is a lower mount, so it's about a 7.8 inch ride height. And then the Kenworth AG400 suspension, the, uh, the eight bag air ride. And the nice thing about the eight bag air ride is it gives you all this space right in front here, all clear, so you have tons of space to, uh, to put whatever you, 
you want or just get things nice and tight. When you have the AG400L, it has that bracket out front. So uh, this keeps everything nice and tight right in there. Like I said, we got the seven spoke Durabrite rims on the back as well, and then the Michelin XD S2s. And a frame configuration, it's your standard, uh, your bent, it's a little dirty. It's springtime here in Winnipeg, so we have uh, road slop. I tried to keep this out of the dirt on the way home and uh, did a pretty decent job. The cab is clean, back here not so much. But uh, anyways, getting back to this here, we have the tractor taper with the heavy duty bracket on the back there. <coughs> now this one here has the Super 40 rear end, so the D4160s, uh, or D, sorry, D4172s and uh, they have a full locking differential all the way around. And uh, so front and back diff lock on that. Gearing is 358, 225 rubber, like I said. I can uh, wonder what you think we have underneath the hood. It's probably a big engine with big diffs. It's a big red engine. I'll just open this up here for you. Let's take a look. 35 pounds of pressure, easy to open up the hood. It is the Cummins X15. It is a 565V or the uh, vocational uh, application. So they would call this the performance series. So uh, they have three new engine categories. They have the uh, efficiency, they have the performance, and then the new one is called productivity. So there's different horsepower ratings. I'll talk about the differences in a future video, let's say. But uh, on this one here, we'll just take a peek at, uh, at what we got. So like I said, 565 Cummins. We have the boost terminals, fuel, water separator right there, power steering, uh, fluid, your oil fill, your washer fluid, your oil check. And then there's all your, uh, your fuses up here, circuits up here and then all your airlines which terminate at the valves right at the uh, firewall. We have drum brakes all the way around and we'll take a look on the other side here for a second. Are you guys having fun? I am. All right, so this side we got the hot side turbo. Uh, up here is your HVAC system. Easy to change your filter. You just gotta pop that out. I don't really feel like getting this all over my jacket so I'm just gonna leave it, but uh, really easy to change that out. Uh, and then again, drum brakes, like I said. Here is that safety valve uh, right here, safety latch. This basically, you pull that up and that makes it nice and easy to uh, close the hood. All your lights are in behind here, easy to change, very simple. I just love this color. Look at how sweet that is. Okay. All right, so let's bring the tour inside. All right, so uh, let's go inside here. Before we do, here's the weight on the truck. I know some of you guys like to see that. It's 8,847 kilograms, so 8,847 kilograms. And uh, yeah, let's uh, finish this off here. So when you're opening up the door here, you'll notice we have the diamond stitching. So it is the diamond VIT, which gives you the wood grain dash. So this is a newer kind of a wood grain design, the burl wood uh, that we've been putting on lately i haven't seen or done a truck with the diamond vit in a gray interior in quite a while i've done quite a few in the tan but uh, this is a really nice change looks really sharp uh, looking at these seats these are the two-tone heated cooled uh, gt703 seats so they're very nice as far as uh, what we got down on the floor here there's a master kill switch so that's the uh, if you wanted to kill the power to the truck. Uh, as far as operating the seat here, we'll get into that in a minute, but this is a quick release to dump all the air out. Uh, this is to adjust the height. Here's your lumbar supports. This is your shock. Now down here, uh, this is your chugger. So you gotta pull that in like so, and then you can turn it off or on. Uh, and then you got your tilt and your uh, adjustment for how much cushion you want under your leg. So we'll show how that works in a moment. Now, okay, now we're in the nice quiet cab. 
Uh, we have the leather wrapped smart wheel, so it has the radio controls right here and your, your controls for the cruise right there. Now over here is your door locks, your window lift controls, your heated mirror controls right there, uh, your ignition, interior lights, uh, so that's to adjust the brightness of the dash, uh, some exterior light tests, you got some floodlights back there, and then here's your wipers and your washer fluid for the window. We did the full gauge package, so it has the full gauges here, that's the standard cluster, and then we also have the full gauge package right up front here. I really like that one, old school analog clock. Looks really cool. Uh, we have an over inflate valve here, so that's kind of a neat one. Air suspension dump, and then the full lockers, like I said, PTO switch and fifth wheel slide. Now there's no shifter. This has a Eaton Ultra Shift, the 18 speed uh, automated manual transmission or AMT is what that is. Uh, so we have a manual or automated manual transmission here. Uh, up above here, we got your CB radio, more wood grain dash, and then uh, we also have the uh, the, the cloth headliner, which is standard on both the Vantage and the uh, VIT interior. Now, did you know that VIT stands for something? Very important trucker. So that's what it stands for, in case you were wondering. All right, uh, so let's continue on the tour. So we ordered this truck with a swivel seat. I'll show you that in a second. But before we walk back there, I'm just gonna take my shoes off because I don't feel like getting this nice clean carpet all dirty. What a beautiful truck this is. All right, I'm gonna turn on my other camera here. Boop. Now when you order the diamond interior, the diamond VIT interior, you have the full back wall in the diamond VIT interior. Uh, now we did this truck with a single bed and an open rear wall, so it looks really, really awesome. Uh, lots of diamond stitching everywhere. Now what we got over here, we have your drawers. Uh, so down below you got your two drawers. You have the swivel table. Really nice setup there. So if you want to sit, sit down at the table and do things that you do at a table like uh, writing, writing poetry, reading, uh, or just, you know, having a sandwich, whatever. Whatever you want to do at a table. I don't know, playing cards reply to some text messages, to emails. I don't know, what else do you do at a table? Uh, do some paperwork, uh, lean on it, ponder life, think, think about things. Okay, get back to the tour, Andy. Come on, Andy, get back to the tour. All right, okay, back to the tour. All right, so what we got going on here is on the wall, we have the uh, TV mount right there. And ooh, we have the inverter. So factory installed inverter with a 12 volt outlet right there. So that's a really nice touch when we order that. You get the factory black plugins, same as their house. And same thing up here. You get a black plug-in right there with a 12 volt up above. Oh, telephone. Telephone. Hello, Andy here. Okay, great, thank you, bye-bye. Sorry about that. My pickup truck was getting a new windshield, so I had to replace it. And they were just telling me it's ready and am I coming to get it? And I said, no, I'm busy, I'm making a video. Okay, uh, so with this interior, I'm really distracted today, uh, but that's okay. So with this interior, uh, with the bunk, it is a liftable bunk and that is standard, you just, lift up this guy right here and then it uh, comes out now we have a subwoofer right down there there's a factory inverter we order the truck with an s-bar uh, the d4 so that's uh, good for higher elevations and then we have the factory installed uh, hvac system for the sleeper as well winter front extra plugs and cords and whatnot there uh, the the uh, tow pins are in there as well so that's all basically how it comes from the factory so we'll close this up here. Something I just noticed when I was dropping this. See this little black foam piece here? It is called the EVA foam uh, pad. So that is an option when you're ordering a truck, if you're in colder climates, when you're sleeping, 
That mattress has nothing below it except for that either wooden or aluminum bed. So in either model, any model of truck that we sell with the sleeper, you can get that foam pad. It's really cheap. It's like 70 bucks, real money. Uh, and it, it basically gives you more insulation. So that's an option there that you wanna look at. Now what we got going on in the back here, I really like this setup. I hope you guys can see. Uh, there's the S-bar controls. Here is the inverter to power that up. Uh, this is an option here for a couple hundred bucks you can get a USB charger and then a radio volume control from the back here so you can control the truck radio from back here, turn it up, turn it down and uh, do whatever you want. Uh, with that, change the radio station, go to satellite radio, whatever you have. Another charger there, uh, there's the fridge power. Here's the door lock so you can lock the doors to the truck. And then there's a night light in case you're scared and it's, and it's dark out and you wanna have a little night light at nighttime. <coughs> or if you wanna turn the lights on, see what you're doing without blinding yourself. You might not be scared. And then this is the bunk interior lights. Ooh, and those basically turn those ones on up there. So that is a quick tour there. Um, let me show you what we got over here as far as the fridge goes. So this is a drawer style fridge, easy to pull out. And we have a secondary freezer up here, which is optional. So you can take that out and remove that, giving yourself a, a taller fridge. We have another drawer down below. And then we have another shelf right in here. It's a little bit dark. Sometimes there is a shelf right in the middle here. There isn't the shelf, as you can see. Uh, and then we have the drawers over on the side here. And then there's your bar up at the top for hanging your shirts or your jacket or whatever you want. There is a, there's a mirror. Hey, and there's my new lens. 20 bucks, new lens, it's perfect. It was all scratched up, but I uh, got a new lens, so it looks like it's still pretty dirty though. That's from outside. There we go, look at that. Just a quick wipe and it's, it's all done. Uh, no, it's still dirty. I'll have to clean that later. Sorry guys. I am just in a mood today. I'm just, yeah, I'm all over the map. That's okay. Let's close that up. Let me give you guys the quick tour on the swivel seat once more. I've done this many times. If you're new to this channel, this will be a treat. <laughs> so how I do this is I put one camera down there, show you what I'm doing. And I'll take the other camera and I'll bring it up here and I'll set that right down there. Adjust it like this. You can kind of see me. Maybe you can't. Yeah, probably. All right. All right. So what you want to do when you're adjusting the seat here, uh, first of all, you want to slide it pretty much all the way forward, but then kick it back just a hair. Okay. And then um, this piece here is what you allow to slide the cushion out. So you want to slide that one all the way in. And if you're only using this for yourself, then it's uh, maybe just leave it in the back position if you don't have anybody running team. Then you want to uh, just get your tilt kind of straight and then adjust the back. So you're just kind of straight sitting up and down. Okay. Oh, my camera over here is way off. You can't see nothing what I'm, what I'm doing there. There we go. All right, so now what we want to do is we want to take this little guy on the floor, give that a flip, and as you can see here, it's really, really tight. But one motion and it's fini, it's done. Ça c'est fini. Oui, oui, je parle français. Pas beaucoup, je sais peur. Uh, je... Hmm. Okay, I'll stop. I won't even try. All right, so that's basically it. Now, once you have that set, at the end of the day, if you want to kick up and relax, put your feet up, really, really comfortable cab. You got your TV over there. You're all set, ready to go. We have these factory curtains that go around the cab. So if you want to have a little bit of privacy, you can just sit here and have a nice evening. So, so that's it, that's all. Thanks for coming by to watch this video today. I really appreciate you being here to be a part of this tour. 
Uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, click that little button in the bottom corner, ding, the little bing, the subscribe is in the corner there, so click that off. That way you get notified uh, when, I'm, when I have new videos coming out. Uh, if you also haven't had a chance to check out uh, my website, uh, which is basically thekenworthguy.com, you can just click up here and that will bring you over to uh, my website where I'm uh, showing you my social media stuff and I also have the inventory that Inland Kenworth has listed. Uh, I'm a part of Inland Kenworth working here in Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada. If you are looking for a truck, please give me a call. I'd be more than happy to help you out and uh, or shoot me a message, send me an email. All my contact information is below and it is on my website. Finally, a big thank you to Amrit Kinsry for buying this truck, for specking this truck out. I uh, really appreciate you choosing Inline Kenworth for your trucks. So uh, thanks again for coming by and as always, have yourself the world's best day. I, you know what, I called and left a message there saying that I got a little bit tied up here. Uh, I'm just finishing something up. So could I come by first thing in the morning? I will do that. Thank you very much.